Hi everyone, I'm Valerie Nunes Atkinson and this is CJ, last year's Best in Show winner at Westminster Kennel Club. We're here again this year at the Cosequin booth. It's day one of Westminster and we're here to answer any questions for you. Hi, sweetie. Valerie, how many dogs do you have? Um, I have six dogs. Um, yeah, two short hairs, two whippets, a mixed uh, terrier rescue, and a greyhound rescue. The excitement, the electricity in the air, um, you can feel it when you walk in. Uh, there's a lot of history that's represented in these buildings and at this show, and um, we all enjoy coming here. It's the best show in the world. Uh, when you first met CJ, how did you know that he was going to be, did you know he was going to be a champion? Well, we knew he was going to be a champion. We didn't know how great he was going to be, but at five weeks, he came out and trotted and... Uh, we kind of all were in awe, even at five weeks. So we had high hopes from him early on. Has he let the fame get to his head? <laughs> Maybe just a little. <laughs> no. No, he still gets um, the Whippet at home. Ramona is his best friend. And they have a, they play pretty rough. And actually, Ramona probably gets the best of him. <laughs> she keeps him humble. What is your favorite thing about the Westminster Dog Show? I think the history, absolutely the history. I've been coming here since I was 10 years old. Um, it's the best show in the world. All the top dogs in this country are here. And now, over through the years, more and more dogs, top dogs from other countries come. So the best are represented here. If there was one other dog besides CJ you could show, what breed would that be? Well, I also breed whippets, so I'd have to say a whippet. I love whippets. We have a few of them at home, and that's CJ's best friend. What is CJ's favorite thing to do when he's not showing? Play with his cat Tootsie or run with, with Ramona, the whippet. He, we have three acres that they run on, and they rip around and are just normal dogs at home. How does CJ prepare for Westminster? Um, actually, it's pretty easy with a short-quoted dog. It's just a matter of keeping feeding them properly, which they're fed pro plan, um, and keeping them in good hard muscle. So just natural running for this breed is usually enough, and that's what he does. He runs a lot. And he's a normal dog. <laughs> he still has itches. <laughs> what is CJ's favorite treat? Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> He likes almost anything, though. He's a short hair. They're kind of like beagles. They'll eat anything. Where is CJ's favorite place to play? Um, well, probably at home, just because it's large. It's a huge grassy area. There's lots of squirrels, <laughs> which we know he loves, and they're usually up in the trees, so he's usually running around trying to find where the squirrels are. Did CJ get a special dinner for winning West? Well, he got a special lunch. The day after Westminster, it's tradition that we go to Sardi's restaurant here in New York City, and the chef and owner prepares a very nice meal for him, either chicken or steak. He had chicken, and um, they feed it to him on a silver platter. It's really fun. Yeah, It's a fun experience. If someone was training dogs for the Westminster show, what would be three tips you would give them? Three tips to train, um, well, if you could start young with a puppy, socialization. That's the main thing, taking your babies out and exposing them to anything and everything. Then getting them used to people touching them all over so that nothing phases them. And thirdly, make it fun, make it a game, make it something that they enjoy. Can you describe CJ's fitness regimen? His fitness regimen is a lot of free run. Um, we do also swim dogs um, for condition especially larger dogs because you can't do a lot of road working or treadmill work, but we also road work dogs, meaning right next to us on a bicycle, or we put them on a treadmill. So every dog's different in what they need, um, and we kind of tailor it to each dog. But So swimming, free run, treadmill, and road working on the bike. Does CJ have a favorite toy or treat? Um, well, chicken is his favorite treat. He has lots of favorite toys. Right now, it happens to be a stingray. <laughs> what that? Well, just tell us, what, what's the day 
day at Westminster Dog Show. Today is day one. Kind of go through and walk us through. What has your day been like so far? Day one, um, we always get here early because we never know what the crowds are going to be like getting dogs here. We're in New York City, so it's not the easiest place to get around with dogs. I show large dogs, so that requires extra large crates and large crates. Um, they have shuttles that bring us in. We come in, find our spot, get ready, usually get the dogs settled for a little while, and then start to prepare them to get shown. Does CJ have a girlfriend? Um, he's had a couple. <laughs> I hope they don't know about it. <laughs> know each other. Has CJ ever been bird hunting? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, in fact, he hasn't been out to officially get his hunt test titles yet, but he will when he's done uh, being shown. He'll be going to a field trainer. His sister uh, is working on her master hunter already. You also know that you breed dogs. Tell us a little bit about that um, practice. I'm sorry, say it again. You're a dog breeder as well? Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, um, yes, I'm a second generation dog breeder. My father started our line over 45 years ago um, with our very first German short hair pointer that is actually behind him in his pedigree, um, as well as the other great short hairs that have went best in show here are also in his pedigree. So his lineage kind of gave us a clue that there was going to be some hopefully greatness there. Um, but we breed short hairs not only for ourselves and producing, trying to produce something that fits the standard and exudes type, um, but we breed happy, healthy dogs. We do all the health testing that's required, and that way, when we have puppies that maybe we're not going to use in a show breeding program, we place them with wonderful families and they make great companions. Um, can you talk a little bit about what a judge would look for in a different show? Well, in a German short hair pointer, they're going to want balance. Balance and symmetry is almost really important in any breed. Um, they're judged per the standard, so every breed has its own standard, and that's kind of like the Bible that depicts the perfect dog of that breed. So the judge has that in their, in their mind. They've been tested on this breed, and they know they should know the breed inside and out, and um, that's what they judge on is the standard. Does CJ have a pre-show ritual? Um, not so much before we get to the show, but he does in the ring. He usually has to bow and sneeze before he runs his down and back or around. We've tried to get him a little bit out of that because, you know, like, uh, like professional athletes, they usually have something that they have to do in order every single time. His started to get longer and longer. It was like first a bow, then it was a bow and a sneeze, then it was a bow and a sneeze and a shake the head. So we're trying to limit it just a little bit. In regards to training tips for um, German short hair pointers, is there anything, movies, books, um, that you would recommend? Um, well, there's a book that was from Australia that Georgina Byrne did. That's probably the Bible in our breed. It's the most updated book and comprehensive. It's a fabulous. It's out of print. You can probably find it on eBay. It's a little bit hard to find, but if you can find it, it's great. When looking for a handler, what is the most important thing um, someone should look for? In oh, a so important. When looking for handlers, um, you know, you can first start with akc.org, and they have a list of registered handlers, um, and then you can go within your state and try to find someone. If you're at dog shows, just watch. Um, I really strongly suggest going and watching. See who's doing maybe the majority of the winning. They're usually going to have the best dogs, be given the best dogs if they take care of their dogs well and have some success. Um, but the most important thing is don't just speak to them and take their word for whatever they're telling you. Go and look at their setup. Watch them from afar. Look at their truck and how they transport dogs and go to their home and see how they take care of dogs and make sure everything is, is up to par. Tell us a little bit about 2016, once you won Westminster Dog Show. T say it again? Tell us some of the things you did in 2016 after winning. Oh, after winning. Okay. Oh, we did so much. The next day alone, I think we probably had 10 or 12 different stops. We went to Sardi's, we went to um, Fox News, Good Morning America, The View, the top of the Empire State Building, World One Observatory. Um, when we got home, we had a whole media tour. We did lots of different news stations and different programs, interviews from all over the world, uh, reporters coming and talking to us. It's been very exciting, very exciting. What do you love most about CJ? 
Um, I love what I love most is the dog he is in his mind, the person he is. He's uh, we always said he's an old soul, and that's what he is. He's not your typical German short hair pointer in any respect. Does CJ like the water? He does. He's not crazy about it. Um, his litter mates uh, like it more than he does. Um, I think it probably had to do with. <laughs> With, uh, we have a pool at our house, and my kids usually, when they're in the pool, you know, they splash and do things. And so he likes to swim, but he doesn't like a lot of ruckus when he's swimming. So we also have a short little shallow pool that we use for conditioning, and he loves to rip through that. So. Do you have birthday parties for CJ? Um, we've never had a birthday party. <laughs> I'm a bad mom. <laughs> He's four. He just turned four. When's his birthday? January 16th, I think. <laughs> How many shows do you attend a year? We attend usually around 150. Um, we don't do as many as like people on the East Coast, simply because California is so large. So generally, we usually have one place in California that has shows. Um, and for me in Southern California to go to Northern California is eight to 10 hours. So that's a big drive. Whereas the East Coast people have lots of states that are smaller and closer together and they don't have as, as big a drive so they can hit more shows. When you're looking for a dog to show, what are things that you actually look for? Well, quality. I, the first thing is that you know the standard of the breed that you're looking at and make sure that the dog has no um, you know, huge errors in, in the standard per, you know, like type, um, DQs, faults that would really t keep it from winning. So you start with the standard, make sure that the dog fits it, um, and then decide what kind of goals you have for it. If it's just going to be a champion, a grand champion, campaign it for bigger awards. What advice would you give to Julian Handler, who expired to be in your shoes at Westminster? Work for someone. Um, apprentice for someone. Really take the time. Find a top handler in your area that does things right um, and ask to work for them. Ask to help them out. Just be around in the setup. You'll learn so much that way. I started when I was about 13 working for handlers. I worked for a variety of handlers for many, many years. Um, years and years and years. And different groups. So I learned all the different groups. Um, of dogs and breeds of dogs and worked really hard at that before I ever thought about being a professional handler. And secondly, and most importantly, is get a degree. Go to school. Continue with your schooling. I did. I got a degree in journalism. And um, I always show dogs all through it. I had a real job for six years and kind of did handling a little bit on the part-time but it's my passion, it's what I was meant to do, and I eventually did it full time, which it's been about 25 years now. What feelings came across you when you, when you saw that you won at Westminster last year? Disbelief. Oh my God, disbelief. I think there's a picture that's out that kind of shows what I was thinking, which was, I can't believe it ever happened to me. It's something I've dreamed about since I was 10 years old, um, something I always, wanted. I think we all do in this sport. This is something we all dream of. You never in a million years think it'll happen for you, but it did for us. How did your family get into breeding German short hair pointers? Actually, my dad was just, um, he enjoyed German short hair pointers because he likes to hunt, and um, so he just wanted a personal gun dog, just a dog that he could take out hunting for himself. We met someone that was involved in showing dogs, and they took us to what was called a fun match, and that's where it started. We have people asking us to see the dogs, so we're going to pan a little bit. I'm sorry? We have people asking us to see CJ, so we're going to Oh, okay, to okay. Oh. <laughs> Just call him Diane. Just a little. He's like, forget it. It's okay. Someone wants to know what was your favorite thing 
um, that you and CJ did in 2016 as best in show? Um, I think probably Sardis and the Empire State Building. It was pretty amazing to be at the top of the Empire State Building. They had a, uh, a lot of media people up there. It was like a photo shoot. They had a table set up, and he was high up on a table where you saw the total skyline behind us. And um, that was amazing. It was fun.